Hey guys, welcome back for another video and in this video I'm going to show you how I transformed this TV stand into a pet bed. So the story behind it is that I've got it from a cleaning client. She wanted to get rid of it. So of course I couldn't say no for it and I had to take it and I had to save it. So let's see how I'm updating this TV stand. For those who don't know, we actually run a cleaning business, which is a full-time job and that's why I'm not so fast on new videos, but uh, yeah, that's what we do and that's where I've got this TV stand from. So the first thing I'm doing, as usual, like with every other project, is I am going to clean this piece and to do that I'm just using water and a washing up liquid. So we all know that cleaning the piece is very important, but why is it important? It is because once, first of all, once you remove all the dirt, then you see how much it is damaged. And then second of all is when you're going to be sanding the piece, the sanding dust is going to get clogged up on the sandpaper if you are not cleaning it before. and then you will have to throw away the sandpaper very often. And last but not least, you are going to end up having swirl marks if you are using an orbital sander. So after preparing the piece, it is time to sand it finally. So to do that, I am using my Ryobi cordless orbital sander. And First of all, I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper, which you can see me using now. And as we go along, I will follow up with a 120 and 180 grit sandpapers. By the way, this is not an advertisement for Ryobi. I've simply bought them because I've just done some research when I was looking for a cordless orbital sander and I have seen this brand before, I've seen other furniture flippers using it and I've read some reviews and I found it to be really good so I just bought it. As you can see there was a little gap between the trim and the actual wood so the next step was to grab my Titrion wood filler and just fill in the gap. I've probably said it many times before in my previous videos but this is one of the best wood fillers I have ever used and to be fair I haven't used an awful lot before I've only used one of the cheaper brands and then we had to get this really strong one for um, a furniture of ours and ever since I tried it I fallen in love with it because it's just really good really strong it sets very very quickly and it's drillable so it has all the good qualities and I cannot recommend it enough Here is how it looks after I filled in all the gaps and I let it dry for an hour and then sanded it back and it was good to go. After I have repaired and scuff sanded this piece, I just gave it one last cleaning. Also before started priming, I wanted to protect the top so I used some frog tape to tape down the edges of the TV stand so I'm not gonna paint and prime over it. So after all the preparation, as usual, I am using my Zinser Bin Primer, which is a shellac based primer, which is probably the best one that you can buy. I'm highly recommending this product 
and I always use this because I never know which furniture is gonna bleed through and I'd rather avoid the pain of stripping down the paint and spending those extra hours on removing the paint and then applying another coat of primer and another coat of paint so I just got to be you know better to be safe than sorry use the perfect primer and then you will never have an issue it is not a cheap one but it is 100% worth it also just a tip when you are applying this primer is you should use a cheap brush because you will have to throw the brush away after each use because what this shellac base primer does is it's gonna make the brush stick together and it will harden you will not be able to wash it out the final step before painting is to give it a light sanding this is to smooth the surface and remove all the air bubbles that might have been left while I was priming it and it's gonna give it a really nice and smooth touch and uh, it's not going to remove any of the primers and on to my favorite part which is painting I love it I really don't like the process of preparing the furniture but it is something that we all have to do if we want to make it last forever or even if not forever but a couple of years so the paint I'm using is actually a very very cheap brand it is from Aldi this is the very first paint that I have ever bought when I started upcycling furniture and I know that this color was a high success and it was really nice to use really easy to use um, it's not really thick it's nice to apply so I was like I'm just gonna use this for this furniture because I think it would look nice and I've got a really good feedback from it and onto the drawer I knew I was gonna put a pet bed in it but it looked really awful and I didn't want it, the customers to remove the pet bed and then just see this awfulness so what I did is I've put some Mod Podge in it which is a decoupage glue and I've added this wallpaper and using a bank card or a plastic card I was removing all the air bubbles and then wiping off the excess glue on the sides I also added some wallpaper to the back of the TV stand just to make it look a bit more cozy and, and just nicer. And on to the very, very, very last step of this furniture makeover. The final thing to do was to protect the top. I didn't want it to make it much more yellower or any darker than it was so I've decided I'm going to apply this furniture wax which is a clear wax by Rust-Oleum to apply it all you need to do is add the wax onto the furniture in a circular motion and then let it set for a couple of minutes and then buff it up with a cloth or this polishing pad And here is the final piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out and it's not just me, I've got really really great reviews and feedbacks from the people who saw it. It actually sold within a day so it was a great success. If you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up, please follow me because it really helps my channel. It's a small channel and I really appreciate any kind of help that you can give. And I hope to see you again next time.